Now we just have a decom to revisit, Justin. Mom's got a date with a vampire. That's yes. What we're doing. Would you like to do the theme song for this one? <laughs> yes. <clears throat> decom revisited. TM. Woo. So, yeah. Mom's Got a Day with a Vampire came out in 2000, Justin. How old are we? Uh, five. Yeah, because it was like probably the end of the year, so five. Mm-hmm. Interesting. I like this movie a lot. For those who don't know or didn't catch up with us or revisit it with us, Mom's Got a Day with a Vampire follows the Hanson kids on a weekend where they're about to have major plans. Um, Adam is about to go see a band called Headless Horseman with his best mm. buddy who was... I think the kid was in um the kid was in uh the grassy, right? Uh yes, he was. His best friend. Yeah. So they're gonna go to a concert that weekend. And uh his sister Chelsea is going to, I think, a harvest festival that weekend with her friends, I believe, or with a man uh, with a boy. Is she going with a boy? Uh, yeah, she wants to go with her boyfriend Peter, who we Peter. never see. Yeah, we never ever see him. That's why I was like, is there another pr- why is she yeah? So she's going to the far- harvest festival that weekend. And um, unfortunately, they both get in trouble and get grounded. And so they just devise a evil plan to set their mom up on a date for that weekend. Uh, and then enabling them to be able to sneak out unnoticed. And uh, their delight is cut short when the brother Taylor, the youngest brother, Taylor, su- suspects that mom <laughs> is on a date with a vampire. <laughs> and, yes. Uh, that's my best uh, synopsis of it. And everything goes downhill from there. Like uh, a lot of stuff happens in this movie, a lot more than I remembered. I'm like, are they? Cause I remember when I was watching this movie, I remember the sequences at the house at mm-hmm. the end or the mansion at the that's, end. That's all I remember too. I remember that very clearly. So I was like, are we about to go there? Cause I remember I was like, I'm going to remember what happens when we get to that point. And they, a lot of stuff happens because you follow this, uh, the mom on the date the whole time mm-hmm. um yeah i i uh, uh i thought this this movie had the best cast mm-hmm. of any decom that we've seen so far in my opinion yeah i think matt uh, o'leary who plays adam and uh laura vandervoort however you say her last mm-hmm. name who plays chelsea those two had such great chemistry with each other and uh lynette uh caroline ray plays the mom that that uh her like her journey throughout the movie i thought was actually pretty cool and interesting like how she she even has like a a, she says like uh to dimitri the 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 mysterious man uh yeah charles charles shanesy or something like that the nanny guy shaughnessy Shaughnessy, there we go um she says that she she thanks him for for reminding her who she loves the most and he's like thinking like oh she's talking about me and she's like, no, 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 not you, myself. Like you're cool and everything. Yeah, she falls in love with herself again. Yeah, like and she, she does. She like literally does not give a sh- flying fuck about Dimitri. And Dimitri is just like, all right, I'm just gonna do what I should have done in the beginning and just. Like, yeah, that's when he finally forces the trance yeah. on her. He's so like, let's talk about how dumb this vampire is. He does some stupid ass shit. It's like he had so many opportunities because it kind of seemed like in a way that it's, it's kind of seemed like, okay, so is he going to actually like fall in love with her or something? Like, is he like liking that? She's like, is he going to turn into a good guy? Yeah. But then uh, right when she's like, Oh no, I love myself. Dimitri's like, all right, fuck the ship. Um, so yeah, that was nice for, too nice for too long. Yeah. You thought, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to eat you now. And, uh, and you're going to live with me for, for forever. I'm going to be uh, honest. You were talking about the casting of Matt O'Leary as, adam uh, mm-hmm. uh i i wrote pretty early on that he reminded me of you right away because when <laughs> they when they first introduce him he's watching it like one of his favorite vampire movies like a sequel or something mm-hmm. and uh <laughs> he begins quoting the movie uh to his sister while she's on the phone just to annoy her and he's doing it like verbatim and i, just, yeah. I was like this this guy reminds me of justin <laughs> and so i just had to like, mention that so if you guys watch it <laughs> I hope you guys see Justin too and what I and I see what I saw. Oh, but um I was I wish I was as cool as he was when I was 13. <laughs> but uh because he's a pretty cool kid. 
He's vampire obsessed, dude. He's vampire obsessed. Yeah, it cracks me up. These the all these Disney Channel movies. There's always one person that has just a strange obsession with something, and like like over the top and like makes over the, whole the top. character. Yeah, it's like okay, that this yeah, this can't be any other movie. It's like if this wasn't a vampire movie, this would make no sense to me. <laughs> it's like he because he reads like the National Enquirer equivalent called like the. The weekly secret about vampires living, and he reads an article about Malachi Van Helsing, who's the modern yeah, oh. Van Helsing of our generation. He's like he's real, so he reads this article online, and that's when he decides to go to www.malachivanhelsing.com because he thinks I'll just Google the name or just type in the name as a website, and it takes him exactly where he needed to be. Don't you miss those days, the early 2000s, where all the things you just typed as www. I want to see this.com. I like how it was doing the dial up. Yeah. The huge computer. That's another thing I liked is when they send the email of through they use they use the same magazine, this like National Enquirer like magazine for to find a dating suitor for their mom. And they email this guy named Wolfsbane. And when the email goes through, it gets sent to another huge, huge computer as it would the year 2000. I guess 1999 when they filmed it, but and then right it pans out, and you think it's going to be in an office room, and it's right next to an, an ancient looking, looking coffin, coffin. <laughs> and it's one of the weirdest looking images I, or sets I had ever seen. It's this like old Victorian vampire coffin, and then there's just huge computer right next to it. Yeah, it's like so he didn't funny. have anything else in his room except his coffin and a computer. Yeah, those are the only two things in his bedroom, quote unquote. Dude, right yeah, I watched a. I watched it with my friend and that was the first like laugh out loud. Like I was watching while she was like kind of cleaning her house a little bit. And um, that was the first like laugh out. Like she was folding laundry. And, like we saw that where like, like you see the computer yeah. that pans out and there's the fucking coffin and you see just open and you see like the puffy shirt that Jerry Seinfeld wears in Seinfeld. Yeah. And it goes over. Quick oh, sip. dude. So goddamn funny. We laughed. That's so the, those hard. are the only two things vampires need is a, dark coffin dark. room with a computer yeah yeah literally um and he lives next to a <laughs> lake too which doesn't make any sense because you know like vampires hate water but hey fuck it <laughs> um um uh, do know that he I, it's more luring for women i guess yeah I mean, yeah that's like i i presume <laughs> I'm, yeah but no i love that dude's performance though that guy's performance was hysterical but yeah no his performance was so fucking funny to me especially towards the end like it like the all movie, those yelling stuff i remember in the so deep, good. Deep parts of my brain yeah or when he throws the the, the baseball oh, at yeah. his head and he like turns yeah. around he's like <laughs> and then he yeah. like i remember that when i was a kid i remember that part actually made me like scared when i was a kid like, yeah i was like I was oh actually, god but that's the thing about his character is that he's so he's wacky but he's still kind of intimidating but he makes so he makes because it's a disney channel movie of course so it's the decisions that are made aren't going to be the most realistic. We're not watching. Not, yeah, not fully motivated, but yeah. Yeah. But uh, dude, the part like where Van Helsing, who's played by Lizzie McGuire's dad, um, comes, bursts through the house and he flies to him and all, all uh, Lizzie McGuire's dad does is move. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and so he falls and so he gets back up he flies again and the other thing he does is shut a door <laughs> and yeah. then he takes out the wooden stake and and mind you this is happening at super speed too dude yeah no the the, the slow-mo <laughs> and super he just speed. Shoot, close the door yeah <laughs> dude the slow-mo at the end when like they trap him in the coffin oh yeah it goes on for a lot so longer than i thought hard. yeah yeah no he and and, and he's like get out of the way or something he said yeah something. just like this way is so, early that yeah. was the only performance honestly i thought he was awful and i thought he was totally miscasted <laughs> uh, what's the guy's name again he was also revenge of the nerds robert robert Caradine. Caradine. yeah yeah he was he was just like i know what he was trying to go for but it just didn't work and compared to like because honestly, everyone else besides like the, the the younger brother too, I thought that he was kind of annoying. But you have to expect <laughs> those. But like the main four people, like Matt O'Leary, Laura Ver- Vandervoot, Caroline Ray, and Charles Shanassy, I thought all of them did such a great job. Like they knew. Yeah. Like I th- that's what I love about these decoms that the the ones that they know 
okay, we're like this isn't we're not making anything groundbreaking here. This they is jump just, right in, yeah. yeah. It's just a silly movie, but um, yeah, they all just delivered. They all did a great job. Like the part where they go to the restaurant because the younger brother Taylor mm-hmm. th- he knows that he, Dimitri's a vampire because Dimitri decides to turn to a bat right in front of the grocery Full store. Full on the ass. bat, and the kid's yeah. scarred for like a couple yeah. minutes. Because the, yeah. the next scene, he's just like sitting there looking off into the vast nothing. Understandably while his siblings so. get ready yeah. for the for the to leave him home alone. He's just like scarred from what he saw. Yeah, understandably so. And yes. so he um he calls or he uh he runs away to 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 try to stop Dimitri from taking over uh on his own their, their mom. no one's gonna believe him. Yeah. And so they go, they chase after him and then uh Dimitri does like the spoon trick, which he makes up to like if 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 I drop the spoon, yeah, they're like, the all right, on. we'll just we'll prove to you it's not a vampire. He says so. They just yeah. straight up go during the date that their mom's on and be like, hey, are you a vampire? Yeah, just, like I know, it's so just, so silly. Like, okay, yeah. The thing that made me laugh so hard though was um when he looks through the mirror and he's gone, he literally looks back and forth six times. <laughs> he goes, I liked how they did that on the way out, but yeah, they did use no, it that, was a clever that a lot. It was, was a like, clever yeah. part, but yeah, he does he does it so many times, and I'm like, we were laughing so He's hard. Got to really figure it out, yeah. So I kept on replaying it. So we just kept, on, and you can tell too that it's not like the same. It, you can't. You can tell that it's not like one shot of him just doing that. It's like the same shot repeated, like over and over mm-hmm. again, and it's just a very odd choice. But um. Oh, I really like this movie. Dude, no, that <laughs> kid, Adam, Adam is such a, he's going to be a fantastic con artist one day because he can, <laughs> he weasels his, his way out of so many situations. Like besides, you know, like when um uh, he has the coffin, he has the upper hand, then he grabs on his sister. That was a dumb decision. They should have both gone the coffin, but whatever. Um, <laughs> but uh, like, even when he's in school and like, he flat out, like, he's like taking, taking the article for, as a, as a, as an essay, and then he just flat out just calls himself out. No, it's from this. The teacher doesn't like he doesn't even get in trouble for that. The teacher is just like, yeah, God damn it. Because even she was like, God damn it, this kid, this kid just flat out told me that he lied. I want wanted to get him in trouble. And uh when he's uh when he's like talking like to the bouncers when they're at that club, uh did you notice that every Disney Channel movie ha- like has to require somebody singing for a long time, long period of time? Yeah, there's a lot of music. It's like in the Disney contract that there's like music sequences. It feels like because yeah, yeah. it's like when they when they put her on a stage. I wrote like, okay, this is a good way to kill three and a half minutes. <laughs> that, have one music segment. Did you know though that band before, uh, uh the mm-hmm. band that was on before she went on? I was like, why do they look so familiar? They were also the band that were in the mask. Oh wow! Yeah, That's super a random. Interesting connection. I know. I, I kept on looking at the dude, and I was like, "What the fuck is he from?" And then I, I realized, "Oh, dude, he's the they're the band from the mask that like spins around." Anyways, That's nice. But, That's a cut's a cool. That's a cool connection. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. Interesting little tidbit. But um, but yeah, the, like going back to Adam's like fucking weaseling. And uh, uh, his smooth talk and his, his way out of situations. Like, there's this bouncer. He's like, "Hey, you're not supposed to be in here." He's like, "Well, that's my mom." And he's like, "Oh, your that your mom's like a legend around here. You're still not yeah. allowed to be in here." He's yeah. like, "Well, I'm only in here because like there's just like this weird dude that's like looking at her." And immediately the dude's like, "That guy? Oh, don't you worry about it. Stay right there. You're fine. And you know what? Have a drink. Hey, you need a cigarette, kid. You're like, Adam exactly. gets whatever he wants in this." Yeah, he just put blame Dimitri for stalking. But he's. But he gets kicked thing. out, violently kicked out too. Violently they throw him out. out of the club and he falls into the two bikes that the kids brought. And it's like one of the most violent like nightclub kick out, kick out <laughs> scenes I've seen in a while. And You're like I was like, wow. And that's the scene. That's the scene <laughs> yeah. where it was groundbreaking when they showed him climb up the wall for the yeah. first time, like straight up vertically, just walked. And I was like, I remember seeing that in the trailer after the movie had come out and they're like started to do repeats. They started to put that in the promo footage, and I was like, mm-hmm. "Oh my god, it's cool." Yeah, dude. No, overall, I think that this was definitely, definitely at the top. Not gonna lie, like I was excited was really good, to yeah. rewatch this movie, but I was expecting it to be like now you see it because remember when I was really excited to watch now you see it, <laughs> and then we watched. I was it really I was excited like, to see it, and yeah. now I saw it. Yeah, and that was an awful, <laughs> awful, awful movie. So that's why I was worried about this one. It was like, goddamn. 
and I was at my friend's house too. And I was like, I, I have to watch this movie before I, before I do this. So I was like, like, do you mind? She was like, no, no, I love, I love Disney channel movies. So let's just do it. And we were mm-hmm. both like, this is actually like, this was, this is a lot of fun. Like we had a blast Yeah. right after we when watched we- smart house. Oh, that's a good one. Um, yeah, we do. And by the way, we need to do that one soon because talk about yeah, we'll do movie. that. That movie's scary. I don't know why, but that seems like a spring movie. Um, what would you give the nostalgia rating for Mom's Got a Date with a Vampire? Oh, I would once again, I would give it a solid ten out of ten because there are a lot of scenes in this where, where like I, it, it brought me right back. Like it, and me and I'm like I'm doing this for my for for my friend. Too. Oh yeah, we're only going to five now, huh? Oh, it's out of ten. Okay. Um. Yeah. No. We switched like, it from five because we were both um uh like at, like most of the scenes that were in it, we were both kind of like, oh yeah, that's. That's right. That that like, yeah, it brought back a lot of a lot of memories. But my actual mm-hmm. rating, I would give it, I would give it a seven point five out of ten. It's a solid, stupid, yeah. fun time, and um, it's still not perfect. I don't think we're ever gonna get anything close to Brink, but <laughs> <laughs> but uh, my friend, she had like a lot of like a lot of ideas for us to go to. But I was like, we need to. We'll get to that soon. Um, my nostalgia rating for it would be like a nine out of ten. I thought it was really reminiscent of childhood. Like whenever something I remember really clearly, I was like, "Ooh, I remember that." <laughs> <laughs> but uh, my real rating was probably like a six out of ten because there's like some there's some stuff that I'm just like, ah, mm-hmm. it is, it is, it is pretty pretty goofy at sometimes. But and I, I I felt the length, even though it's only like an hour and ten minutes or something, but. I was like, they're still doing stuff. <laughs> I'm well, surprised I they felt feel, the, like, found stuff to do. Right. I felt, I definitely felt the length um, when they were at the club. That mm-hmm. entire sequence, I was like, wow, we're still here, huh? But everything else I thought was pretty well paced. Oh, yeah. I, I would definitely watch it again. Like, Yeah. This is this is our 10th decom visit. Look at us, dude. We're fucking killing it. Ooh. Yeah, that's uh-huh. uh, that's our decom revisited. Um Hope you guys join us for the next one. Yeah. Thank you guys for checking out this week. Um, Follow us on Spotify and Twitter and Instagram and Facebook and subscribe on YouTube and tell your friends and um, click that bell. Click the bells. Yeah. Uh, Anything else, Justin? Uh, No, I think that, I think that that did it. All right, dude. Oh yeah. I'll talk to you soon then. Yes, sir. Let us know what you guys are watching. Have good weeks. Until next time, guys. Goodbye. I don't know how to say goodbye to people properly every week. (laughs) 